Fuck them girls, man. Wow, what's up, what's up? What's up? Yo, I got a little story to tell you. Have you ever... Hey, what's up, everyone? Today we are going to look at a jQuery and CSS spinning DOM object or uh, HTML uh, object. Um, you're going to need to set up your own HTML page and maybe a button or an image. It'll look like this in the end. Um, this is just the way that I've liked to do it in the past. Uh, there are a lot of other ways to do it, and I will hint at them towards the end, but first let's start setting stuff up. First, get an HTML page. I expect you know the basics of HTML. Um, next, we are going to just have uh, the CSS, um, your index page, whatever you want to call your HTML file, uh, with a button. Now once you get that, uh, we can start coding the jQuery and your class that we're going to put on uh, the button. So this is where the CSS comes in. The way I like to do it is to use jQuery to add um, a class which will have animation and then I will remove that class and uh, I'll show you later why this is sometimes better than just using uh, CSS completely like using uh, active or focus hover etc so another cool thing here that I'm about to do is um, a jQuery sort of like a regular expression selector which most of them will return an array of elements uh, but the way that we're gonna do it it will select the one that satisfies the condition um, so we want to look at anything that has the class, not the ID, so that we can have multiple things with this. So we want to look at anything with the class spinner that has been clicked. And when that has been clicked, we want to add the class full rotate. And I can put the code for this in the description. Um, if you don't want to just you know sit here and copy it all, but this is a uh, basic you know, animation in CSS3, so this should be pretty easy for for most. But if you need more explanation, you can always ask or just uh, I can maybe put a link to um, W3 Schools or something. <laughs> so this is just going to animate the object 360 degrees f over uh, about a second. Next, let's uh, do our uh, kind of partial selector here. So this is going to select anything in combination of these uh, characters. So spinner. And when it's clicked, we want to sort of um, use an anonymous function here. And um, there's a lot of concepts I'm kind of skipping over. But uh, if you have any questions, I can maybe think of another video to cover them. Uh, so here we're, we're actually going to switch to the on, which is newer than um, the click. Uh, I like to use that more. And then we're just going to have this anonymous function run right away, so it's going to be invoked immediately. Um, and here we're going to want to sel select, oh, well it's already selected, so now we just uh, work with this. Um, so you do the... Uh, jQuery object selector um, with this inside of it and we want to add a class so we're going to add full rotate now real quick don't forget to add your scripts um, so you want your custom uh, JavaScript or your, um, your, your your jQuery that you've encoding in and you'll also need to add your CSS file and don't forget the very important library uh, which is your jQuery um, so you can you know load it from a CDN or have the actual file um, I'm just gonna download that quick and put it right here and I can put a link to where you can get it yourself we can just check out how that looks <laughs> so far so now you'll see that after I've clicked it, it will add full rotate. 
the problem is it's not removing it. So it happens once and it uh, stays. So one way to get around this um, would be to use the actual void to use the animation um, function, but I'm not going to do that in this one. Uh, I can maybe explain that in another video, uh, or you can check it out yourself. That's the animation function, but we're going to use a set timeout. Um, so you will put uh, set timeout fu uh, function will be it will run right away, and what will happen is this will. Um, remove the class after a certain amount of time has passed. So the, th the issue here has to do with scoping and what you want to do is actually um, sort of pass the object into the next function. Um, so I'm just going to put it in a variable. Uh, there's probably another way to get around that. But I'm just going to do uh, this and that. Just to show that real quick. So we'll set that equal to the this. And then we will watch it work. And there it goes. Uh, depending on uh, what you're using this on, there might be different ways that you want to go about it, but what we'll do is we'll just set up um, some checks. Nothing big. Essentially we'll just check if it already has the class, uh, just return don't run anything further, you don't have to do anything. Uh, depending on what type of, well right now we're doing a spinner, but if there was some other type of calculation going on during this, maybe we wouldn't want it to run, it'll slow things down, etc. No, whoops, I don't know why I did that. So we'll return if it already has the class. It's probably pointless, but just, uh, it's just my brain. I guess. <laughs> and there we have it. We have our full rotate class. Uh, we've put the class on the uh, as HTML tags. And you can add that to images or buttons. I mean, any anything really. Uh, might be a couple differences depending on what you know part of the DOM you're trying to to work with. But there you have it. Now, one thing might be, uh, we could actually do this without jQuery altogether, uh, but I've found that you have more control with jQuery, and I do like just going through and programming it uh, anyway, but I'm going to show real quick. So if we did it on active, this would um, animate. Uh, comment that out. So this would animate while the button is active. We'll see that real quick. So if I hold it, it'll be going, but um, and that runs once. So that's an example. Um, there's also a hover and uh, then focus. So the one that would be the closest to what we are doing would be the focus. Let's see that. But of course there are just some downsides, such as it just being somewhat of an on-enter and not being able to click more than once. One way would be, you know, the animate uh, function in J jQuery as well, um, which, you know, you would just add the animations and then maybe have, like, your callback. Uh, and if that's confusing, I can you can ask me <laughs> or I can make another video about that. But I hope that helps you get ideas or figure something out. Um, there you have it. Thank you.